sometimes I think about how uh, if like in the right time and place I'd be real susceptible to just um, being absorbed into a cult. <laughs> uh, there's one that has always been uh, specifically attractive to me. Uh, it's the only church I've ever really willingly gone into. Uh, and that's the Church of Scientology. Uh, Scientologists in the house. <laughs> um, there's a lot of things I find that's absolutely fascinating about Scientology. Uh, like, the first thing is, like, it's it's just based off of this, like, crazy science fiction novel um, by this guy, like, L. Ron Hubbard, and it's basically, like, just this overlord alligator god. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> uh, and, like, secondly, there's just so much fucking shit that goes down with Scientology. Like, like people, you know, uh, go missing. Um, even the, the founder, uh, David Miscavige's wife, Shelly, has been missing for like a good seven, eight years. <laughs> no one has asked any questions except for me, apparently. <laughs> but it's like people will try to escape like the, the bases and they'll run out and get shocked by an electric fence and just carried back inside. And like that's not illegal, I guess. <laughs> also get tax breaks as they are legally a church. Um, yeah, it's, it's um it's it's pretty wild. But another thing that I find fascinating about Scientology is the amount of actors involved. Uh, like a lot of famous you know, people have been Scientologists. Like the one girl from uh, Handmaid's Tales nominated mm -hmm. for an Emmy, she's a Scientologist. This is like two years ago. Like these people are still working. Uh, Tom Cruise famously, uh, John Travolta. Um, I, I went to the center in New York uh, mm -hmm. alone. I had a friend with me, but they got scared and left. And I said, just wait outside. <laughs> <laughs> I was like trying to grab things because I like wanted to take them. And so there were these like free books, and I was like, can I have a free book? And, and they were like, oh, it's only in Spanish. And I was like, see, see. I was like, see. <laughs> oh my god. And they took me into this room and they had me like watch all this shit about like Dianetics, which is like their crazy like way that they just get you to tell your secrets and they use them against you. Uh, and like OT levels and everything about that. And I was just sitting there watching this four hour long video <laughs> thinking how easily I could get sucked into this. <laughs> <laughs> when I meet L. Ron Hubbard, <laughs> once I prove my worth, when I meet L. Ron Hubbard, what I've waited for since, I don't know, I saw a flyer, and with all his wisdom, and my lack of talent, he won't be blinded. Do you think L. Ron Hubbard is dumb? Or like Tom Cruise, so small? A young actor trying to get by, and that's how we'll begin. <laughs> when I meet L. Ron Hubbard, my whole life will change. Cause when you're with L. Ron Hubbard, you're about to be a teenage. No fathers allowed to contact you. No sister acts ashamed because she's gone missing And the industry has to love you Cause with Hubbard you're acclaimed And this cult, I mean class, I take at the center Has connections that I can rely Oh what a pair will be I'll run Hubbard and die One day he'll see me with Carly from back a girl who's so regular Shouldn't a girl who's so good inside Have a matching career And since folks here to absurd degrees Have connections to agencies Would it be alright by you If I married you off to Tom Cruise And of course he's not attractive to me all right, why not? All right, why? Oh, what a pair will be, Tom Cruise and I. Yes, what a pair will be, Tom Cruise and I. Diana.
Yes. <laughs> we can just trust Diana. I've just had a vision that I'm an immortal alien living temporarily in a human suit. And I know that it sounds true. That it makes sense. <laughs> true. The vision's hazy. But I swear someday I'll be flying on a private jet to the Sea Org with John Travolta, David Miscavige, and Shelley. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 